Yo, what is up guys? Samsung has just announced it's gonna release S10 and S10 Plus on March 8th. So let's start the timer and let's get into the video. First of all, they have three models which is S10e, the normal S10 and the S10 Plus. Price for this slick looking food starts at $1,078 and up to a whopping of $2,198 oh that is so expensive i wonder who can actually afford it shit not enough there's a full pricing table on the top right of your screen if you are keen about price for each individual model. Now, you're probably wondering about the size. S10e has the smallest and the lightest among all three, but however, they have the slowest PPI among all three. If you guys don't know what is PPI, it stands for pixel per inch. What basically means is the higher the number, the better looking your phone screen will be. If you're a fan of a giant screen, you should take the S10 Plus because S10 Plus have the highest battery capacity among all three of them. So how long does the battery actually last? Well, from their statement, it actually lasts 12 hours with continuous usage. It doesn't mean a continuous usage of gaming because I probably think no phone can last 12 hours of gaming. Well, let's now talk about the specs. All the three models come with the standard color, which is prism black, prism white, and prism green, with the exception of S10, which comes additional two more colors of ceramic black and ceramic white. Don't ask me why these two colors is not for S10 and S10e because I'm not their employee. So, which comes to the last part, I'm gonna talk about is the camera. S10 redesigns the mobile camera with five pro-grade cameras that let you shoot like a pro without being a pro. Are they serious about what taking a photo? If you're not a pro, you become a pro? Well, on to the comparison of the video. So on S10 Plus, it has actually 12 megapixel for both on telephoto and the wide angle camera which is I think is standard among the current generation of phones right now. But their wide angle camera has actually a 16 megapixel which can capture more details of the photo that you took or of the video that you will take. If you want me to review just about the camera of this phone, do remember to leave a comment below. So after talking so much, you probably have these questions to ask. Riz, which one is good for me? Is S10 better than S9? Riz, I have no money to buy. Can you buy it for me? No, 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 no. First of all, I can't buy that for you. Second of all, please get a job if you do not have the money and do not take money from your parents because they are very responsible parents unlike you who are irresponsible for taking their money. And definitely, last of all, S10 is definitely better than S9. So how to know which one is really good for you? This all depends on you to see whether are you one of those who always on the phone 24 7 or are you one of those who actually playing games like mobile legends and so forth or are you one of those who are actually use the phone for just texting and calling truth, truth. in conclusion if you are a heavy user definitely go for s10 plus just because of its battery capacity which can last you longer than most phones right now. If you are not a heavy user, probably S10e is the best because you do not need a big screen, you do not need a heavy phone. And we stop the time! Oh, damn. Did I miss the 5 minute mark? <coughs> <sighs> well, it doesn't matter anyway. You guys are still watching me, right? Right? So yes, this is the end of a quick review about Samsung Galaxy S10. Comment down below if you think S10 is currently the best phone in the world. And if you don't think it is the best phone in the world, still 
I need you to comment down below which of the phone is currently the best. Oh, and remember to hit the subscribe button below or if you want to do it in style, you can just smash those buttons. Yeah, 2019 style and that will help me to actually review more of these products to you. Until then, I will see you next time. Peace.